Hey guys, Critter Girl here, and hold on. Let me find some scissors. We are getting ready. Well, I ordered a couple days ago, like I told you, the super colossal blue from Jurassic World. And here is the box that was on the porch waiting for me when I got home from school today. And I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride of opening her. So, oh, that's heavy. It said on the website that she only weighs 2.2 pounds, so I don't know why the box is so heavy. Maybe because I'm a wimp. <laughs> okay, let's break the tape. Sorry I can't let you guys watch me actually unboxing her, but I really had no way to position my phone in that way. Hold on. I think this is her, but I can't see the box. Yeah, it definitely is. I see little raptor eye. <laughs> oh, gosh. She will be a wonderful addition to my collection. What I think I'm going to do, because I've got two blues already, is paint the blue stripe green. And I decided, let's see, the day before yesterday, I think, to name her Veronica. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. But I just like that name. So... Wow, this is, like, huge. Her box is huge. That explains why she's so heavy. Oh, wow. She is gigantic. Look at this, you guys. She's huge. She's bigger than I thought she was going to be. Like, I read, like, a lot of the reviews, and it's like, she's absolutely huge, and I didn't think she was going to be that big. But, oh, my gosh. Was I wrong? <laughs> she's really big. Okay. Opening this. I'm going to have to cut this, because... I'm too lazy to rip it. Got the paper on it. Got to take the paper off. Well, if I can get it to come off. Turn it this way. I've been so tired today for some reason, guys. I don't know why. I did my very first dinosaur repaint the other day, by the way, and I will show you that in this video if I don't forget. If I forget, I'm sorry. I painted, it's not a Jurassic World dinosaur, though. I painted one of my other Velociraptors that I've had for a long time to the best of my ability to look like the alpha female Velociraptor in Jurassic Park 3. Okay, there's the paper. Here she is. There she is. Isn't she amazing? This is how big she is compared to me. You can see that she's huge. Her mouth does open, I think, but I can't really do it from this angle. And she has... Oh my goodness! Oh, there's the back of the box. She's so heavy! Goodness! Okay, um, I love her. She is beautiful, so she's really pretty. I like her a lot. Look at her pretty eye. I'm going to go ahead and get her out so I can show her to you guys better, and I think you have to attach her tail. She's so big! I'm seriously dying right now. She's so big. There we go. Cut that. Cut this. And one more. Cut this. Alright, can I get you out now? You're amazing. Hold on, are you attached to something else back there? She was $54, by the way. $55. You know what? She was $55. I apologize. $55. I got her off of Amazon two days ago. Okay. Cut the box. Am I going to sneeze? Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I see what's holding her. You do have to attach her tail. I see it down there in a different part of the box. Oh, sorry. Bad angle here, I know, but I can't help it, really. Get that out. This, these are the little wires that she's being held in with. And I gotta cut this one off of her foot. Poor little thing. They really got her in there. This was awesome, though. Like, this is the first time I've ever ordered anything, and it actually came the day they said it was going to. They said the 17th, it's the 17th. I came home, and there she was. First time ever. Typically, they're, like, late. They're, like, it's... You guys that... What was that? You guys that... Oh, it's the plastic. You guys that order a lot of stuff off of the internet probably know that typically 
the day they said it's coming is typically not the day it actually comes. So here's this. She's asked to attach her leg and her tail. And here are her hands. And she is amazing. Look at her mouth. And she's got the tunnel down inside of her mouth. You can see that? And she can swallow those like mini action figures. And then you just open this and you can get your action figures out of her belly. That's cool. That's really cool. Let me lay her down. Find the other parts of her in the box. How am I going to pull this off here? She is 37 inches long. Head to tail. Nose to tail. Oh, where where did my scissors go? Oh, here they are. Uh, let me just cut this open here so I can get her tail out and her other leg. But, like I said, I'm going to paint the blue stripe green so that, oh, she will, like, be unique. There's her tail. And here's her other leg. I wonder if she has the scanner on her foot. No, she doesn't. Here's her leg. Now we're going to put that on, put the box aside, get the paper off of these. Okay. There's her leg. <laughs> Wrapped her leg. And this is, how do you even do this? Hold on. Maybe if I cut this, it'll make it easier. Take the top off of it. She's so awesome. I really love her. I like big things. Who doesn't? Whoop. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> if um, you want a size comparison, if any of you have ever seen in person or if you own the um, Alpha Training Blue, she's bigger than that in case any of you, you know, were wondering about that. Oh, I see. Now I'm going to try to attach her tail. Attaching the parts to these things is always so difficult. Hold on. Oh, maybe it's not difficult with her. So there she is, full length. I can't even get her full length on camera. Not even like this. She's ginormous. And attach her other leg. Attaches like that. Basically, you just have to line up the little holes, the little holes in her leg, and push. Let me... Make sure I get there we go. Perfect. And there she is. Oh, she's amazing, isn't she? Awesome. I love her. Okay, let's bring her leg back and see if I can get her to stand up. Little trouble standing. Hold on. I gotta figure out how to do it. There we go. She's huge. She is no lie. Probably taller than my dog, Fozzie. Not even kidding about that, guys. Not even kidding about that. <laughs> Open her mouth. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so let me show you guys her. So here she is. Here she is. <laughs> um, her, okay, there's her eye. Of course, her all the way down. I've got my phone on selfie mode, so I can't film it very good. And there's her hands that move a little bit. Her arms are movable. She is amazing. Let me try to... There's her full body compared to me. <laughs> um, and, of course, she comes with the... Let me sit you guys back up here. Comes with... There we go. The instruction manual. Shows how to attach her body parts, and then how to feed her, like, action figures and stuff. So, yeah. Make sure this doesn't say anything important. Yeah. That's awesome. She can swallow up to 20 of those little dinosaurs that you get out of the Jurassic World blind bags. She can swallow up to 20 of those, is what I read on the website. Let's see if it says anything on the box here. I love her. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. Um, 
Yeah, swallows and stores up to 20 mini dinosaurs. Um, and if you're wondering what the mini dinosaurs are, I don't think I still have that blind bag bag that I used to have. I think I threw it away while I was cleaning my room. But to, you can find them at, like, Walmart, I think. And pretty much anywhere that sells Jurassic World stuff, you might can find them. They're blind bags, Jurassic World, and they've got these little small dinosaur figures in them. It says she can swallow up to 20 of those, which is really awesome. I love that. And her mouth opens, of course, and she's basically, if you're wondering how she does that, it's pretty kind of like a baby alive mechanism. Like, you open her mouth, she's got this hole in her throat back here. She's got, basically, it's like a hollow all the way down into through here, and then she's got the chamber in her belly that holds them. If you don't want to play with her much, which I don't know why you wouldn't, she's amazing, but she would be really cool as a thing to use to store your figures that, that would save you some space. That would be actually really smart, but I'm not going to use her as a storage thing. I'm going to use her as my little buddy. And her tail kind of moves a little bit, but not much, really. And her beautiful white teeth. Pretty much her lower jaw, like a lot of these toys, like their lower jaw is the only one that moves when you open the mouth. Or the upper, but both of them kind of move a little bit. See? Both of them move. So, you know, she is amazing. I love her. And seriously... Even when she's not, like, standing up the way she is right now, she is maybe, she is, like, the same height as my dog Fozzie. And if you guys are regulars here, you know he's, like, kind of a medium dog. He's a poodle. And, or maybe she's about the same size as him. Maybe a little taller. But she is most definitely bigger than Ladybug, my seven-month-old chihuahua. Um, so this is awesome. She is now the biggest dinosaur in my collection. This is amazing. If you guys have the real feel Mosasaurus, she's longer than that, I think. I don't know. I would go get Medi. My I named her Medi. I would go get her, but I'm too lazy to get her right now. Oh, I just remembered you guys want to see my repaint. You might have to look up pictures of alpha female Velociraptor in Jurassic Park 3 to, to see the comparison. But let me go grab that really fast, because... If it's a little bad, I apologize, but this was my very first attempt to repaint a dinosaur figure. My very first attempt. Here she is. Um, you can see from the feet, this Velociraptor toy used to be red, like reddish-orange. And so, you know, you guys can go online and look up Jurassic Park 3 Alpha Velociraptor and you will see... Excuse me, that is the one that I was trying to copy. And in the comments, if you go look at that, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. But in the comments, just let me know what you think. So, I did see my improvements. Well, I saw what I needed to do. I think I needed to use a little bit of a smaller brush to make the black stripes. But that's off topic. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this box opening and review. And I hope you have an amazing day. And if you have this or plan to get it, let me know. And if you have any questions about her, let me know, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. By the way, I read on Google last couple days ago that she is supposed to weigh 2.2 pounds, which she feels a little heavier than that to me. I'm thinking maybe 3 pounds, but I could be wrong about that. So, you might, if you have, like, a really precise scale, you might could weigh her and see. But, you know, I think she probably, I'm estimating maybe two and a half, three pounds. So, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. And thank you so much for watching. I know this video was long, but it took me forever to get into the box. <laughs> and there's a lot to say about this beautiful girl. Hope you have an awesome day. And as soon as I finish repainting her stripe to make her unique, because, like I said, I want to name her Veronica... I will show you guys. So, yeah. Goodbye.